Hi, this is Will Wilde and I'm here in the studio today testing out the range of harp mics from Shake Microphones. I've been using these mics both live and in the studio for a few years now and uh, I think they're some of the best out there on the market at the moment. Um, each mic's handmade in the USA by Shaky Joe and um, I'm going to be testing out today the Retro Rocket, the original Dynamic Shaker, the Mad Cat and the Mad Dog. So I'll start with the Dynamic Shaker. This was the first mic that Shaker Microphones made. Um, it's much smaller than a normal bullet mic and much lighter as well, which makes it easier to cup in your hands. Uh, there's a volume pot on the back and also uh, it comes with a standard quarter inch jack so you can plug it straight into a normal guitar cable. Um, this mic has a really, uh, it's kind of a brown sound, very warm, full bodied tone, um, strong mid-range frequencies and uh, the reason I first checked out this mic was I heard Pierre Lecoque from Mississippi Heat use it on his record, uh, One Eye Open. shaker microphones this is the retro rocket um, I use this for the whole of my raw blues album um, it's got that kind of nasty Chicago blues sound um, this is a really good all-rounder mic for me because when you play gently it has a really clean smooth sound and as soon as you start to dig in it breaks up really quickly um, it's about 40% smaller than a normal bullet microphone so it cups really nicely in your hands and uh, again it comes from a volume pot at the back and a standard guitar input. Um, it's quite heavy for its size and I actually quite like that, it's made of pewter I think. Um, it just feels really nice in the hands. <laughs> This is a really unique microphone, um, unique design. Uh, it fits between your fingers, like so, and uh, the mic sits just here and the volume pot on the top. So you can use this for volume swells when you're playing. Um, the good thing about this mic is that it allows you to amplify the different hand sounds that you can create. Um, it's small enough that it leaves an air chamber inside your hands so you can vary your tone that way as well. Um, it has a really wide frequency response. It's good at the, the bottom end as well as the top end. And uh, it's quite feedback resistant too. So uh, a good mic all round.
Dog. It's uh, kind of a second generation Mad Cat. Um, the only difference is that it has a bigger pod and a different element which gives it a bigger bottom end. Um, so again, you've got your bonnie pot on top and it just sits between your fingers. Both the Mad Cat and the Mad Dog come hardwired with a quarter inch jack and uh, a coupler so you can extend it with another lead into your amp. Um, this mic has a really similar tone to the 545, uh, the old Shure 545 that Paul Butterfield used to use. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to find out more about these mics, then check out shakermicrophone.net and uh, check out my new album Raw Blues, which I use these mics on, and also my website, worldharmonicawild.com.